I'm Jamali Maddox, you're watching Comedy Central at the Edinburgh Fringe with the hottest rising stars in comedy. We've hooked up with the Fringe to bring you 10 great stand-ups. We even had a live virtual audience, so yeah, it was legit. The act I'm about to introduce to you has already been nominated for the best newcomer at the Edinburgh Fringe. Beating 700 shows, you're definitely in safe hands. Please show your love and appreciation for Helen Lauer. <laughs> this is so weird. I feel like usually at this point I'd be at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival performing to a room full of people just whooping and cheering and instead I'm coming on and looking at a screen with just a load of guys looking at me like, no. <laughs> She is way too fuckable to be funny. <laughs> Correct. She's one of those super lucky girls, got a personality, got the tits, got the face, that just crushed it all super early doors. Um, I do have a set that I want to do, and I've thought about it really carefully, but more importantly, I've discovered YouTube fails. Just wondering if anyone's a fan of those. No one, not really. Okay, they're amazing. Basically, it's people just going about their business and then they have the worst day ever and it's caught on camera for people like me to enjoy. It is so, so good. <laughs> and also, you want to remember, you want to type in wedding fails. Because I think we're all adults here and we can agree that there is nothing better in this world than a bride's day being ruined <laughs> and the light just falling out of her eyes. Oh, oh my God, it's so good. Like there was this one bride, I think her name was like Olivia or something, she was basic as fuck. And she like, I mean, that sounds super harsh, but like, like properly basic, cause like I'm basic, but I'm basic plus cause I'm self aware with it. Does that make sense? Like. Like I have scented candles, but I don't switch them out seasonally. I'm just like, leave Christmas cookie burning. I'm kooky crazy. Like I've got that sort of vibe. <laughs> like Olivia, she's gross. She needs to work on herself. And I know this for one main reason, which is that, oh my God, this girl, bless her. She was so cute. But she was walking down the aisle to Beauty and the Beast. And it's like, lol, we get it. Like you're the beauty, he's the beast. Uh -huh, work on yourself. But as she was walking, her dad stepped on her train and out flopped a tit. <laughs> and it's like, oh. And you could just see in her eyes, it was like, not the good one. Like, you know when the good tits flopped out, right? And you pretend to be embarrassed, but like, you're just sort of like, oh my God, no, they're both the same. Ah! Like, it's such a good, like, everyone's got a good tit, right? Like, you know when you lick your nipple and you blow it and it wrinkles it up? Yeah, no, cool. Ha ha, me neither, just trying to bond. And there's like one guy just staring at me like, what are you talking about? So like, try it on your wife, she's gonna freaking love it. Basically, <laughs> I know which one my favorite tit is. I think everyone has a favorite tit. I know which one my favorite tit is because I get drunk all the time and I get it out for like, Attention. <laughs> I think it's because I'm too good at drinking. Does that make sense? Like I'm really good at it. Like, like I can drink three bottles of wine in one sitting. That's incredible, right? I feel like most people are impressed apart from this dude just staring at me like she can't do it. She's too thin. Correct. I've just got to see the past metabolism. Look at my wrists. And I also want to say three bottles of wine. I am fully aware that, that is a disgusting amount of alcohol to drink. I can do it because I'm a legend. It's just not me like being the change I want to see in the world. Does that make sense? <laughs> like, like when I drink two bottles of wine, that's when I'm crushing it. You know that level of drunk where you're just wandering around the pub, <laughs> like a bit of sick in your hair, but really holding it together. <laughs> you know, going up to random guys, like, let's talk about my childhood. <laughs> like, yeah? <laughs> Tit hanging out with a good one, I'm not an idiot. <laughs> Catch your reflection in a mirror and it's like, oh my God, Helen, like, you are a Disney princess. <laughs> Someone put on Colors of the Wind. It feels amazing. <laughs> Thing is, I know I can drink three bottles. <laughs> and I'm not a quitter. <laughs> so I push myself. And I have that third bottle. But when you drink three bottles of wine, there's only one thing you want to do. I want to eat. <laughs> I just want to check if you can all nod. Has everyone here had the privilege of eating whilst completely shit-faced? Yeah, it's insane, isn't it? The way the food melts in your mouth, like the inside of one of those Lindt chocolate balls, it's incredible. And also, wait, I know this is a comedy show, I don't want to get too scientific, but it's very important to say that when you eat when you're drunk, the calories don't count. <laughs> it's like eating on a train. Yeah, it's not technically a meal. Smart, smart, smart. <laughs> you know when you're drunk, like 
you don't want to go into a kebab shop by yourself and order the amount of kebabs I want. Because I want two kebabs, right? Like, <laughs> what am I playing at? So I go into a kebab shop, you order two kebabs, people look at you like, what the hell's happening with you? <laughs> Absolutely not. Luckily, I did GCSE drama. I've been studying drama to the age of 16. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I go into one kebab shop, order one kebab, and then I eat it on the way to the second <laughs> kebab shop, like a legend. The <laughs> thing is, you don't want to get caught out. That's embarrassing, right? I've already got a tit hanging out and vomit on my hair. Keep it classy. <laughs> I wipe myself down, use my drama training to take on a character. For me personally, you want to find your own roles, but I, I like to take on the role of like tiny baby bird woman who's like, never heard of a kebab before in her life. <laughs> <laughs> like I just wander into the second kebab shop, like, oh my God, this is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> beep, beep, beep. Mm, like, like, how does it work in here? Oh my God, is it table service? I don't know, I'm so confused, look at my wrist. <laughs> <laughs> Who is Donna? <laughs> 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 Feels so good. If you want to really show off, ask for one kebab, ask them to cut it in half and wrap up the second half because you couldn't like, possibly have one whole kebab. Absolutely not. It's intimidating. I'm scared of food. Take your half a kebab, flip your hair around to the guys in there and just scream, take me home. And they'll say no, you're covered in vomit, but still, at least you're not basic. <laughs> you guys have been really lovely. Thank you all so much for having me and have a wonderful rest of your day. Woo!